So now let's create the file to contain our assembly code and we do that by clicking here to create a new file and let's save it let's save the file you can just press ctrl s and then you save it in the same folder I'm going to call it main.s remember .s is the extension for assembly code and .c is the extension for C code this file is main.s we save it and after you save the file it is in the folder but it's not yet in your project so you have to bring it into your project to make it usable in the project and to do that you can come here to source group 1 and double click and it brings you here and you locate your file because your file is a .s file obviously it's not displayed here you can come here and choose display assembly or display all files which is much more convenient and now you can see your main.s file here you double click to add it and it's added and you close now um, you can see your file here but before we start typing let's examine our board our Tiva C board again if you take a closer look at your board I'm sure you would notice there are 10 pairs of pins sticking out at the left and right ends of the board. You'd also notice that these pins have labels like PF3, PF4, PD6, and so on and so forth. These labels are really important. Through these labels, we are able to know where to connect our input and output devices to match the code we write. What happens is that if we want to connect a sensor a switch or maybe an LED to say PF3 we will have to enable PF3 programmatically what this means is we will have to write code to tell the microcontroller to enable PF3 to set PF3 to either an input or an output depending on what we are connecting to PF3 or even we would have to tell the microcontroller to set it up for an alternate function so it is very relevant to read the labels carefully and to connect the wires or the input and output devices to the right pins. Since we are going to use the red LED for this project, let's dive into the user guide document and see how the red LED is connected to the board. And I'm sure you might have downloaded a document by now. If not, um, this is the link here. Yes, you can just copy and paste this link in your address bar and hit enter. It will take you directly to the document where you can download. Um, you should certainly have it now. I have mine here. So um, I'll just maximize it to 150% to make it very clear. And let's scroll down to page 20. Yeah, I hope pages are written. <laughs> the pages aren't written at the bottom you can just hit 20 here and jump straight there and what we are looking for is the schematic diagram of the microcontroller this is the schematic diagram this is the microcontroller and if you take a look at PF1, PF2, PF3 and trace their lines you will realize that they are connected to red, blue and green LEDs respectively this is PF1, PF2 is down here, PF3, if you trace their lines, you'd realize they come through this R12, R11, R2 resistors and go to the LED R, LED B, LED G, this stands for LED red, blue and green. So in order to use red, I'm sure you can tell, you'd realize that we would have to enable PF1 to use the red LED, here it is, 